Welcome to our devotional. Here is where we learn more about our Heavenly Father. Join us. You don't want to miss out on this blessing. Living Stones Church. Good morning, Church. Today, we continue our study on the book of Luke. And we will be looking up chapter 15, verses 1 to 10. In these verses, we see two parables that Jesus is giving in response to the attitude a group of people is having towards another. Many of you will have heard this story at some point in your life because it is one of the most recognized parables of Jesus. But the mistake that we sometimes make with this story that Jesus is telling, is telling us here is that we tend to focus on the sheep that got lost instead of actually on the shepherd's behavior, his attitude towards the sheep that just went astray. So I would like us to go to this chapter and read it from the New Living Translation um, version. And as we read, I will be breaking down some of the things that, um, according to this passage, it looks like Jesus was trying to teach us. So, verse 1. Tax collectors and other notorious sinners often came to listen to Jesus teach. So, in this one, we're seeing that we're talking about people who were recognized to be sinners. So, people that perhaps were known to be walking in sin, um, had probably been seen sinning, probably they were robbers, they had committed adultery, um, they might probably have been in prostitution, or they might probably been uh, they might have probably um, done some, you know, mischiefs or stuff that might have been politically wrong. Then in verse 2 it says, This made the Pharisees and teachers of religious law complain that he was associating with such sinful people, even, even eating with them. So we're seeing here that the Pharisees and the, t and the teachers of religious law, they were extremely furious they were like how is this man that is supposed to be a teacher that's sup who's supposed to be holy and you know be around good people is actually um associating with these type with these type of people so they were and it was something that in addition to jesus allowing them to come near him and hear him you know give him give them words of wisdom teach them something um he was voluntarily approaching them as well. And he was even looking or trying to establish a relationship with them. And we can see this um, I mean, we can see this evidence in the fact that in the Bible it says that he would even eat with them. He would potentially even go to their house, you know, share a meal. And when we tend to try and share a meal with someone, we're trying to create some sort of connection with them. And this was a scene that was very important within the Bible or the or within the culture. When it came to when you try to have a connection or some sort of agreement or relationship with someone, you would try to then share a meal with them, have some sort of um, dining experience. So then in verses three, it says that then Jesus, it says, so Jesus told them this story. So in this, Jesus responds to the teachers of the law. And he responds then with the, with the story to try to make them see and understand the condition of their heart. See the mistake that they were making within themselves and also in their behavior and the things that they were saying. Then in verse 4, it says, If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them gets lost, what will he do? Won't he leave the 99 others in the wilderness and go to search for the other and go to search for the one that is lost until he finds it? Then verse 5 says, And when he has found it, he will joyfully carry it home on his shoulders. Um, these two parts actually remind me, especially verse 5, to something that God says in Isaiah. So that's Isaiah chapter 53, verse 6. All of us, like sheep, have strayed away. 
we have left God's paths to follow our own. Yet, the Lord laid on him the sins of us all. We have all, all, we have all strayed away. Just like sheep, we have all been like this, sinners. Then in verse 6, it says, When he arrives, talking about the shepherd, he will call together his friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep. And in here, it's, it's kind of tricky and also it's like Jesus couldn't be more direct towards them because then in here he's saying look if you were actually my friends if you actually knew God or were in the presence of God as much as you said that you are or had actually a relationship with God as you say you have then you wouldn't actually be having these behaviors you wouldn't actually be having these attitudes towards these people that are sinners and that are looking to be with God, you would be having a different attitude towards them. You would actually be rejoicing with me. Then instead of them continue to be away from God, they're actually coming near me, near to God, and then trying to be with Him. So then in chapter 7, it says, In the same way, there is more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who repents and returns to God than over 99 others who are righteous and have any strayed away. And here I want to ask you a question. So are we having the attitude of the friends of the shepherd that rejoice with him when someone came to know God? Or are we having the attitude of the Pharisees that when someone comes to church, someone that probably doesn't dress properly, is not um, someone that is not behaving in the way that probably they're supposed to behave or that have some issues or are coming in a probably um, noticeable state of being in sin or having like a certain way of life. Are we making these people that come to us feel welcome or are we showing God to those people that probably we don't like at work or any other place that we go to or in in our environment which like which type of act act attitude that we're having are we actually being a channel or an open way in which people feel welcome to, to come to God or are we trying to block them are we having this attitude that might probably be making them feel like they cannot come to God seeing that God actually even goes away goes out of his way to come and try to reach them and then to be even clearer or to make his point Jesus gives another parable from verse um, from verses 8 to 10 parable of the lost coin Or suppose a woman has ten silver coins and loses one. Won't she, lit, won't she light a lamp and sweep the entire house and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, she will call in, she will call in her friends and neighbors and say, Rejoice with me because I have found my lost coin. In the same way, there is joy in the presence of God's angels when even one sinner repents. So let us seek, let us pray and ask God for us to be a channel, a way through which other people can know God. And let us rejoice when whoever comes to church can feel welcome and can feel the love with which the Good Shepherd um, found us, accepted us, carried us on his shoulders in a way that we can rejoice with him and with them in this new in, in this new chapter um, that they're having with God thanks for joining us today we hope you'll connect again for our next devotional may God bless you